What's up guys? Godzilla back again here with another video um, and before uh, I guess anything else I should just say that yes my car is back running again I'll uh, insert some clips and uh, let you hear it a little bit um, but this video is going to be about my Supertech Racing uh, R35 uh, coil brackets uh, upgrade as you know, uh, from one of my previous videos, I had the basically the first generation uh, bracket that they had made for the coils to use on the RB26, and they worked great. Um, but they reached out to me and said they had a new version, and they wanted me to check it out. So here we go. So uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, got a nice uh, gift in the mail today. Um, this is the Supertech Racing R35 uh, coil conversion bracket for the RB26. And this is, mm, I, I, I want to say it's their fourth generation, but I'm not sure. Um, I have their first generation on the car right now. And uh, it's kind of like just a big, thick uh, billet, like block type deal with um, these screws that go down into the head to do the spacers and stuff. I have a video of it, so I'll just, you know, wherever. Where's my finger at? Right there. Go there to see it with how to install it. But this is their newest one, and they've shaved off a lot of the weight, and it looks amazing. I love these billet like machine marks here. Looks almost like it's like glittering, I guess. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> but it comes with the hardware and everything. So these are the spacers that go underneath to go to the block. And from what I understand, you use both of these if you're just using the regular like uh, GTR R35 GTR um, coils. And then you take these spacers out uh, if you want to use their custom boots. Um, they're still in development of them, but it'll allow you to have better sealing around the uh, opening where the spark plug goes down and uh, allow you to have the cover on top of the coils without having to modify it. Um, but at the time of making this video, that's not currently uh, out yet, so look forward to that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take the old one off and install the new one. So here's the uh, spacers. So basically the underside of the bracket spacer goes there. And then if you're running the, the regular coils, you also use this spacer too. And then and one of these bolts goes through into the head. So, pretty cool.
So here's the new bracket, and a cool thing about it, why it only needs four stanchions, not seven, is because we, um, well not we, they have uh, this interlock tongue and groove type deal. So <clears throat> these are an interference fit, so they're, they're a little tight in there. Um, so then we basically just need to put the, the bolts in there and the spacers and then just bolt it down and do the back first so that you can put the other one on top here so this locks in. So it might be easier to just place these spacers down on the um, grooves there. There we go. That's that. All right, guys. So once you get the bracket on, all you have to do is basically, you know, install your spark plug, and then you're gonna put your uh, coil in there. The old kit had a little spacer that you had to kind of you put this down in there, and you put the spacer underneath, and then you put the bolt in. Well, this bracket has it built in, obviously. So that's a nice improvement from the the first generation. Um, so also what you want to do is before you get your plugs all the way on there, or your coils I mean, you want to get some dielectric grease here. Focus. Anyway, you want to squirt some up in there so it has, you know, nice weather seal contact and I've noticed that these are very um, snug in there so they don't move and when you try and take them out sometimes the little boots here come off so take a little bit of grease and just lightly go around the um, the boot here so that it makes it a little easier to come off next time you need to change your spark plugs or anything so, just put that on there. Make sure you get it on top of the spark plug. Oops, I put it on the wrong way. So make sure you get it on the spark plug. And then, there you go. And then we take the bolt that's supplied with it. It's a, what is this, an eight millimeter? I think it's an eight millimeter. Yeah, eight millimeter. Just Start the threads and then snug it up. And there you go. And then obviously you take your harness and you, there you go. Do all six and you're good to go. And if you have aftermarket ECU, um, like a Haltech or anything like that, um, go in and change the dwell time or the dwell settings rather on the uh, coils for the ignition and that'll maximize the efficiency of them. Um, you can go online and find the specific settings that you need. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get uh, a new video out pretty soon. I'm waiting to get an appointment for some dyno tuning and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I guess just uh, keep an eye out on my Instagram and my Facebook. Those usually get updated before YouTube does. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, See you next time.